Welcome to the thrilling world of dangerous game adventures. Dive into the heart of the dark continent where each moment pulsates with excitement. Witness the raw, untamed beauty of nature and feel the adrenaline surge. From the shadows of the wilderness to the echoing roars, every episode is a new chase. Dangerous Game Adventures, where the wild calls and adventure awaits. Ever wondered how it feels to embark on an epic hunting adventure in South Africa? Meet Ed, a seasoned adventurer, along with his longtime friends, Gareth and Shay. They've just touched down in the heart of the African wilderness, welcomed by the imposing yet luxurious Rockwood Lodge. This isn't just any lodge, oh no, it's a gateway to the pristine safari area. A land that teems with a variety of planes game and even the thrill of dangerous game. Guided by none other than the professional hunter Pete and hosted by Game Trackers Africa, they're here for more than just the thrill of the hunt. Ed has set his sights high, aiming to harvest five Cape Buffalo, a rhino and several plains game species. It's a lofty goal, but for these seasoned adventurers, it's just another day in the wild. After settling into the lodge, the group indulges in a sumptuous lunch, gearing up for the thrilling hunting experience that lies ahead. Our group of seasoned hunters, Ed, Gareth, and Shay, turn their attention to their trusted companions, their rifles. The importance of a well-tuned rifle cannot be overstated in a hunting experience, especially in an area as vast and varied as Rockwood. Each hunter knows their rifle intimately, its weight, its kick, its accuracy. The group meticulously checks each rifle, ensuring they are primed and ready for action. From the powerful point 375H and H Magnum, favored for its versatility, to the reliable point 300 Winchester Magnum, each rifle has its own unique characteristics and strengths. Each check, each adjustment, brings them closer to the hunt. With the rifles ready and precise, the group is now all set for the hunt. But hunting isn't all about thrill and sport, is it? There's a bigger cause at hand. Enter Vikas, the owner of Rockwood. He's not just a seasoned hunter but also a staunch conservationist. Today, he's our guide into the world of rhino conservation, a cause that's close to his heart and integral to the safari experience here we at Rockwood. I have just over 370 rhino at the moment here at, at Rockwood. So that makes us one of the biggest uh, populations of rhino on the planet. I realize I have to do a lot more to protect my rhino. And uh, so at that stage, they were killing about a thousand rhino a year uh, in South Africa. So it's a, it's a matter of time before all the rhino in, in our national parks are going extinct. You know, and it, it's the same for Kruger National Park and all the other parks. Now, the rest of Africa basically don't have rhino. You probably wonder why would people kill rhino? What's the deal with this rhino poaching? You've probably heard about rhino poaching, but what's, what's, what's the story behind it? So, people in the East have a totally different um, outlook on medicine. Um, in the West, we use all sorts of chemicals, you know, we pop a tablet for a cold or for pain or whatever, but in the East, they use um, uh, much more you know, natural products and concoctions of herbs and stuff, and Rhino horn is used uh, in, in a lot of uh, mixtures for, for fever and they say it's a cure for cancer, I don't know, but that's what they use it for. Because um, of that there's a huge demand for it, but there's, there's no legal supply because it's uh, rhino is 
listed on Fletix 1 of CITES, so you, you can't trade the horn uh, internationally. Um, so now the prices just went up to the point where rhino horn is worth about $25,000 per kilogram. Now, you know, to put that in perspective, a big bull will carry about 10 kilos of horn. That's $250,000 sitting on its nose. It's going to get killed. That's why we're losing so many rhino. And, and so we're pretty much a, a safety net for the wild populations, you know. Um, yeah. So every, every little rhino that's born here, every baby is precious for us because in years to come, you know, there, there aren't going to be rhinos in, in state reserves. It's only going to be on private land. You pay for this whole operation, you know, so, so you, you, you get the, the idea how hunting supports conservation. If it, if it wasn't for, for hunting, there would be no income, you know, to, to help sustain this. Yeah. Rhino conservation is no easy task. It demands constant vigilance, strategic planning, and a deep understanding of these magnificent beasts. But why go to such lengths, you may ask? Well, rhinos are not just part of the wildlife that makes Africa's heart beat. They are a vital cog in the ecosystem, influencing everything from landscape to other wildlife populations. The stakes are high, and the battle to save the rhinos is intense. But at Rockwood, they've committed to this fight. Here, they've implemented stringent anti-poaching measures, night patrols, tracking devices, and even dehorning in some cases. It's a tough call, but a necessary one. Every rhino saved is a victory in this ongoing war against extinction. So our philosophy is basically um, when the rhinos are here, the uh, control room watches over them, but when they're outside, the rangers watch them. You know, so we've got e patrols on horseback and we've got um, about 16 rangers, so they patrol, you know, on horseback, um, especially on, on full moon when it's the uh, the highest risk period over that week. Um, they patrol at night, uh, you know, because on, on horseback it's just so much better. It gives you much more advantage over the poacher. Um, you know, you're quicker, you're quiet. 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 But how does our group's hunting trip fit into all this? Quite simply, it contributes to these conservation efforts. The funds raised from these safaris are pumped back into maintaining the reserve funding anti-poaching operations, and supporting the local community. It's a delicate balance of ethical hunting and conservation, one that Rockwood has managed to strike. The group's hunt isn't just about the thrill of the chase. It's about contributing to a cause larger than themselves. It's about ensuring that future generations get to witness the majestic rhino in its natural habitat, just as we are privileged to do today. As the sun sets on the breathtaking Rockwood Safari area, the group is not just excited about the hunt, but also proud to be a part of this noble cause. This episode is brought to you by African Hunting Gazette. Dive into the world of African Hunting Gazette. We're more than just a magazine. We're a quality journal presenting all aspects of hunting in Africa. Our pages take you on a journey, one hunt at a time. With the dawn of a new day, the real adventure begins. As the first rays of sunlight pierce the African sky, a sense of thrill and anticipation fills the air. Our group, led by the seasoned hunter Pete, sets out into the wilderness. This is not just another day in the bush, it's the beginning of a hunting journey that will test their skills, patience, and camaraderie. Every rustle in the underbrush, every distant sound, is a potential encounter. The wilderness is a world of its own, where every moment is a dance between the hunter and the hunted. The camaraderie among our group is palpable. The shared excitement, the shared purpose, binding them together. Hunting is more than a sport, it's a bond, a shared experience that transcends the ordinary. As they step into the wild, the group is all set for an adventure of a lifetime. And so are we. Their first day is a gentle one. They take their time, drinking in the beauty that surrounds them. The shared excitement is noticeable. They can hardly wait for the thrilling encounters that are to come.
As the sun sets on their first day, painting the sky with hues of gold and crimson, the group is ready. Ready for the wild encounters that the South African wilderness promises. Day two dawns and the wilderness doesn't disappoint. The South African landscape, vibrant and teeming with life, greets our group of adventurers. Not long into their journey, the group spots a Gemsbok bull. Gareth, with a spark in his eyes, is soon on its tracks, his heart pounding in rhythm with the African drumbeat. The pursuit is exhilarating, a dance, as old as time itself, but the wilderness has more to offer. Let's keep your eyes on him. Let's walk forward. Stay loaded. Okay, let's have Well, thank you very much, JP. Oh, my friend. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank First you. African animal. Yes, thank you. Very much. <laughs> Great, my man. Had to break the ice. I know, had you to, have to had break the ice. ice. Had to draw some blood somewhere. Yeah. You think you got one, huh? Yeah. Someone had to draw some blood. blood. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Axe Bullets. Meet your perfect hunting companion, Axe Bullets. African Express engineered monolithic bullets made in Africa. For Africa. For the hunter who demands precision and power. Off in the distance, a lone figure catches their attention. A Cape Buffalo Bull. It's a sight that commands respect and awe. Pete takes the lead, his experience and intuition guiding him. Ed, with steady hands and a focused gaze, gets within 40 yards of the bull. The tension is palpable. He takes his shot. It's magnificent. The bull runs off, but not for long. That other one's pretty good size with it, too. Yes. Ed's finishing shots bring an end to the chase. With a successful hunt and a celebration of their first big five, the group's adventure has truly begun. That's why I said we hadn't heard that. Papa? Yes? You came out another time out to Africa. Yeah. Come on, do number 20. Yeah, this is bull number 20. Bull number 20. That yeah. is bull number 6 here at Rockwood. Yeah, right. <clears throat> you may not believe me, but I'm more than 30. I'll be 82 at the end of this month. And last year over here, on my 30th birthday, the first, on my, the first day of my birthday, yeah. I killed 
two big bulls, 146 and one about like this one, little one like this one. Little one like this one, yeah. And I've hunted many, many times. And if you want buffalo or anything, or if you want to be babied around, now they're, they don't baby me. No. They don't become pretty tough. But if you want to come hunting, everything first class, and I've been to Africa well, just about 12 times, this is number one. Yeah. Congratulations, Papa. Okay, thank you. First like fall. I say, anybody wants to go anywhere, in accommodations and everything, a good bunch of people we got here. Everything's first class. Excellent. The thrill of the hunt is infectious and the group is eager for more. Shay, now loaded up, is ready for her Cape Buffalo. The anticipation builds as she carefully stalks her target. The stillness of the South African wilderness only amplifies the pounding of her heart. With a breath held and a steady aim, she takes her shot. That's it. Perfection. The bull staggers and drops another successful hunt. That's it, man. Good shot there. <laughs> That's an old dagger boy right here. Yeah. This is an old warrior right yeah, here. Yeah, it is, yeah. As the sun starts to descend, painting the sky with hues of orange and gold, Gareth spots two Cape Buffalo Bulls. It's his turn now to put his skills to the test. The tension is palpable as he approaches his targets. All in? All in? No, he ain't. On the count of three, you just pull okay. it back. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, that's good. Nice. There we go. <laughs> so you did it again. Hey. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Uncle Ed. Hey. Well done. As the day ends, the group is exhilarated by their encounters. South Africa has more than just wild encounters to offer. Our adventure takes a thrilling turn as Shay sets her sights on a majestic gems bock. A game of stealth and patience unfolds as she stalks this magnificent creature, her heart pounding with the thrill of the chase. The culmination is a sight to behold as the gems box staggers and drops, a testament to Shay's perfect shot. Well done. It's a nice shot. It was about 200 plus. Oh yeah, it was at least 250. Plus yards. Yeah. On the money. Heck yeah. <laughs> well done, girl. Thank you. Ashe, here we are. Yep. Congratulations with your first Hemis buck. Thank you. After a very good stalk, you stumbled in a couple of cows, before there might be a bull, and then this one presented itself. Yep. Over 250 yards. 
Yep. Perfect shot placement. How do you feel now? I feel pretty good now. He gave Wait. us the run and put the shot out, and now I feel good. Ready to excited. get some more. Yes. <laughs> ready to get some more. Yep. <laughs> but let's go and make some cases and blood. Yep. I'm ready. <laughs> ready. Good. And then comes the moment of victory, a unique South African tradition to celebrate the first Southern African Plains game animal hunt. A dab of the quarry's blood on Shay's face, symbolizing respect for the animal and the circle of life. Shay is up once again, this time for a beautiful golden wildebeest. The stalk is on and the wilderness holds its breath as the hunt unfolds. Yeah, he's walking yeah. up to the left. He's going out to the left, yeah. Okay, he, was he falling? He's over? down. He's down. He lay down. He lay down. He lay yeah. down. That's yeah. over the right hand side of this bush. Oh, yeah. There's a green one. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. You just, can see his horn sticking out. You just, let's stay put. He's laying down. Mm. He's safe. Okay. Oh, girl, congratulations. Thank you. Now you also starting to get junior master of disaster. Yes. <laughs> well done. Afton Safari Lodge. Unfurl the adventure at Afton Safari Lodge, your gateway to the heart of Africa. We're the best start and finish to your African safari, providing a unique blend of comfort, convenience, and beauty. AHG Trophy Shipping. Streamline your hunting endeavors with AHG Trophy Shipping. We say, save money, hunt more. We're your trusted partner in delivering trophies safely and efficiently. The group's experiences are enriched by the local traditions and the spirit of the wilderness. The adventure in the South African wilderness is more than just a hunt. It's an immersion into a vibrant tapestry of culture and tradition, deeply rooted in the heart of the continent. As the sun begins to set, the air fills with the rhythmic beats of a traditional dance performed by the locals. This dance mirrors the pulse of the mining community, a testament to their resilience and spirit. The region's history is dusted with the sparkle of diamonds. These precious gems have not only shaped the landscape, but also the economic backbone of the area. Diamond mining, a cornerstone of South African democracy, has etched a story of triumph and tribulation into the land. This dance, this celebration is a living, breathing monument to that story. As the day's adventure comes to a close, the group call it a night with thrilling memories and a deeper understanding of South Africa's rich culture and history. The crack of dawn greets Gareth as he sets off into the wilderness. His eyes are set on a prize like no other, the golden wildebeest. He spots the majestic creature, his heart pounding in his chest. With every rustle of leaves, every gust of wind, he positions himself carefully, blending into the landscape. The moment comes, his breath hitches. The trigger is pulled and the shot is fantastic. The bull, startled, darts off into the undergrowth. Awesome. Good work, Garrett. Thank you. 
The thrill of the chase ends as Gareth's trophy lays before him, a demonstration of his skill and perseverance. And that, folks, is how a golden wildebeest hunt goes down. From the Golden Plains to the dense bushveld, we now turn our sights to the Kudu Bowl. Air is thick with anticipation as we transition to Shay's pursuit of this magnificent creature. The Kudu Bull, a symbol of grace and strength, is not an easy target. Shay's keen eyes spot the bull amidst the dense foliage, its twisted horns a clear sign of its presence. Planning her approach with the precision of a seasoned hunter, she moves stealthily, the rustle of the leaves underfoot the only sound breaking the silence of the bushveld. The tension is almost tangible as Shay lines up her shot, her breath steady, her aim unwavering. The moment arrives, and with the pull of a trigger, the tension releases. The kudu bull is taken, its majestic form a symbol of the wild and the circle of life. Awesome. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. What a cool one. Yeah, it was. A successful hunt indeed, a shining example of Shay's skill and patience. Well done. Thank you. Good <laughs> shot. <laughs> Thank Great you for shot. spotting it. Anytime. Yeah. He spotted it from up <laughs> We spotted it from up there. And then we had to make a very difficult decision. Yeah. Do we shoot the sable? <laughs> or the or kudu? are we gonna spook the kudu, which is the difficult one? We're going for the difficult one. <laughs> so I was like, well. The sable is sort of, you can get them. Yes. It's not going to bother no. us too much, but this... We've been after them. Yes, yes finally, the great ghost is down. The great ghost. <laughs> Switching gears, we now join Shay on her second Cape Buffalo hunt of the safari. We've got some information that we have some buffalo here. A herd of bulls. There might be one or two dugger bulls amongst them. So we're going to do a blind stalk in here and see what we stumble across. Hopefully we get lucky. Good luck. Thank you're you. going to shoot first. Yes. What's your expectations? I want to put in a good start, get on a good ball and put them down. I like that type of talk. <laughs> Put him down. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Today, Shay has set her sights on a venerable old Cape Buffalo bull. This scene is nothing short of the sheer tenacity of the huntress and the formidable power of her quarry. There's a few bulls behind the bush. Yeah. Um, we thought there were younger ones, but there was one big one that was hiding behind another. And they took off, so we're going to take a little break and then get back after it. Each step is carefully placed, each breath measured. The tension is so thick, you could cut it with a knife as she navigates the terrain slowly closing the distance between herself and the bull. After a considerable trek, Shay finds herself within shooting range. The moment of truth is upon her. With a steadiness born of experience and a heart pounding with anticipation, she takes her shot. The sound reverberates through the silence, announcing the climax of this thrilling pursuit. Her aim is true, a magnificent shot that brings down the old Cape Buffalo Bull. Another incredible hunt, another trophy for Shay.
Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Super easy. Congratulations. Thank you. Good shooting. Thank you. All the shivers with. Well yes. done. Thank you. Don't even. Break it, eh? One shot. Thank you. Thank you. One shot. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Shay. You shot your Cape Buffalo today. Mm -hmm. What was the whole like? Or experience it you it was very exciting i was shaking like no other <laughs> <laughs> Look in the car. and uh how was the stalk it was good it was long but um it was worth the wait in the end what lesson did you learn out of here uh be patient that's good <laughs> yeah now we had a good stalk for about two hours and we stumbled across this old guy lying here he was watching and then he was not watching and then uh, at the end of the day he got up and started grazing and we waited for him he walked into a perfect shot one shot kill congratulations yeah. absolutely it walked two paces after the shot and it went down like a bag of potatoes yes it did <laughs> Cheers, this is good papa. And then, on good shooting. Thank you. Excellent. Good game. I decided in for it. was something else. We had to have a lot of patience, but it was worth it in the end, and I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, I see you had a bit of a jitter there at a point. I did. After the first shot, I had the shakes, but it's worth it. <laughs> You made a perfect shot on it. Yes. I just want to congratulate you. Well done. Thank you. And uh, I hope to see more of that. Of course you will. <laughs> In episode three, we continue the safari with Ed, Gareth, and Shay as they hunt Rockwood Game Reserve in South Africa. On the menu in this episode, the group hunts two sable, kudu, roan, two cape buffalo, and finally, the white rhino.